What's up everybody, Supreme Decisions here, and again, taking another step towards the Weaponizing Your Defense series. Now, today, again, I want to give you a little bit of extra understanding, and today's understanding is going to come from Malloy V. Hogan, 378 US 1, 1964. Now, I think I did this a couple weeks back, maybe a couple months back definitely at least a year ago where I talked about um, forced ID and in the context of that Malloy V. Hogan prohibits that but here's the actual holding because I know a lot of people have a preconceived notion of apparently my ability to read what's in front of me but I'm going to give it to you anyway now, the 14th Amendment prohibits states infringement on the privilege of any self-incrimination, just as the Fifth Amendment prevents the federal government from denying that privilege. So whenever a police officer said, well, I'm going to ID you. Lloyd V. Hogan says, no, you're not. Fifth Amendment says, no, you're not, because you had a right to remain private in your person and property. So, pesky constitution gets in the way. Two, the applying of the privilege against self-incrimination, the same standards determine whether the accused silence is justified regardless of whether it is a federal or state proceeding at which he is called to testify. Now, this includes interrogations. And also, let's say, Florida v. Royer. You don't have to participate in their investigation. You don't have to provide an alibi because you have the right to remain silent. Three, the privilege is available to a witness in a statutory inquiry as well as to a defendant in a criminal prosecution. Because again, you don't have to participate. You have the right to remain private in your person and property starting to get a little repetitive right I, I understand that but lastly number four a claim of privilege as to all the questions should have been upheld since it was evident from the implication of each question in the setting in which it was asked that a response or explanation why it could not be answered may be dangerous because injurious disclosure would result you know, Dave Chappelle did a little skit on it when he was pleading the filth. Understand that. You have the right to remain silent. That is the one exercise that most people lack the ability to do. Like, you have to say something. Always remember, a wise man speaks to be heard. A fool speaks because they want to say something. We don't have to be foolish in our actions. We don't have to be foolish in our exercise. So just understand, you don't have to speak. And it's generally wise to make them prove the allegations against you. So that's Supreme Decision. Don't forget to support the channel, podcast, and grab your t-shirts. Love you. And I'm out.